Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate it. So today's video, I am doing another mystery box unboxing from ColourPop. I literally just woke up not that long ago and I got this and I really wanted to just jump on here and share with you guys. So don't mind my morning appearance. But um, yeah, so this is the this was the April mystery box from ColourPop. It retailed for $49. Um, and you guys know that I love ColourPop and I'm always excited to try their mystery boxes. Um, the last one that I did with the palettes was awesome in my opinion. It had a lot of palettes that I did not have in my collection. So I was really, really happy about that. And so I'm excited for this one. We shall see. I think this one is called Flower Moves Mystery Box. Um, and I think from what I saw yesterday, it was still available. They sent me another notification saying that if I'm still interested um, um, to come back and get one. So I'm assuming it's still available. If it is, I will link it down below for you guys um, and any coupon codes that I can find. Let's just go ahead and open it. I have not even opened it. Anything I was so tempted to, but of course I thought, let's just wait. And if I do get some repeats or things that I already have or can't use, they will just go in my giveaway bin that I have for you guys. Excited. And I know a lot of times with ColourPop's mystery boxes, they do a lot of their older products they're trying to like get rid of because um, they need to make room for all the other new, the newer products. Um, and sometimes that doesn't bother me. Sometimes it does just depending on what it is. The first thing that I got is a Lux lipstick. This is from uh, the color Digital Twin. I don't have anything from this collection. Um, this is a Mor Morale. And ColourPop collab. This is what the packaging looks like. Very pretty purple packaging. I do love ColourPop's packaging and stuff like that. Oh, the packaging to the lipstick is super pretty. And like I said, I don't have anything from this collection, so this is great. There is a shade there. It looks like a very pretty nude shade. Let's go ahead and swatch it. Very pretty right there. It's like a nude, nude, nudie brown. Very pretty. Their lipsticks are very creamy and I, I love, love the packaging. Super pretty. It is plastic packaging. I see in here a Snit Cherry ColourPop Lippy Kit. I don't have anything from this collection either. Very cute packaging. Oh, so you get, I think, a lippy pencil and a lippy stick. Very nice. Let's see what those look like. That's the shade. Very pretty. It's like a deeper red, cranberry red. The packaging is so pretty. I don't wear red a ton, and I feel like I need, I should. There's the liner. Very, very pretty. I think I'm going to give this a try. I have a few red lipsticks, not a ton. Um, I don't wear a ton and I don't buy a ton because I don't wear them often. But I feel like it's something that I probably should try to start wearing a little more. But yeah, that's a super, super cute uh, kit. So, so far, two things that I do not have in my collection. So that's great. The next thing that I see in here is a serum blush. This is a Cheek Dew in Bubbles. I think I have maybe one or two of these, but I can't recall. Um, and I will double check. Um, but this is the ones that came in the packaging like this. Where you squeeze it out. A texture of like a cream and serum kind of mixed together. That is what it looks like blended out. Very pretty. I do love when blushes are easy to blend out and that they're not so like boom because in case it's a dark color or shade that you might not like, um, you can blend it out. 
The next thing that I got was this ColourPop stick. Um, this looks like an eye pencil stick. It's in Coffee Shop. And I am going to check because I feel like I have some of these little pencils. I just don't know what the shades are that I have. But it looks like this. I do have quite a bit of these pencils actually. I had bought a whole set. But I'm not sure that I have this shade. Right there. Very nice and creamy. I feel like this would be so good to use as a liner on the top lid to get that precise application. So that is nice. So far I'm really, really happy with this. We've gotten things that I don't have. The next thing I see in here is a Super Shock Cheek Blush. This is from that same collection. Um, the Morale and Colourpop. It looks like that. Very cute packaging. Very cute packaging. Right there. This does look like a reddish orange shade. I don't know if I could pull this off. Um, but yeah, that's like an orange orange. But maybe if I go in with a very light hand, because that was just a very, very small amount. Can't really see it. I didn't want to go too heavy. But it's it blended really pretty. Look at it on my finger. It's kind of scary. But I'm willing to give it a try. Because you never know. I could probably sheer it out. I just have to go in with a very light hand. It's a beautiful color. And I don't believe I have anything like it in my collection. So I'm willing to give it a try and see what I think about that. Yeah, it's really pretty. You just have to go very light-handed. I just barely dabbed it right there and you can see it's not coming off my finger. All right, they did throw these in, uh, these little crystal face jewels. Um, I don't really use a ton of these. I may save them for like if we have something special at work um, or something like that, an event. I'll probably put just a couple on or I'll give these to my daughter, but those are okay. okay. The next thing I see is a Snitchery Colourpop Super Shock Shadow Duo and Final Girl. Very cute packaging. And let's see what we got. It's like a real pretty blue. And this is what the packaging looks like. Very cute. So it's like a, a bluey purple. That makes sense. These are the two shades right there. Let's swatch them. Very pretty iridescence right there. You probably can't see too well, but there they are. Right here. Those are very, very pretty. And I do absolutely love the Super Shock Shadow formulas. I, I think they're really good. I know there's a lot of brands now trying to dupe it and do it. Love, love them. So um, I did get a liquid liner. This is in the shade Make Love, which is a yellow shade right there. I do have this. I know that for a fact. So I'm not going to swatch this one. That is going to go in for a giveaway for one of you guys. This is a ColourPop E7 brush. Love getting their brushes. I love their brushes. It's like a shorter, fatter, denser brush right there. So excited about that. The thing that I see in here is a palette I do not have in my collection, which I'm so excited about. This is ColourPop on Cloud Blue. I do not have this. Um, I never thought to buy it because I just, it wasn't one that I gravitated towards, but to have it in my collection because I don't have it already is exciting and I'm very happy. This is what it looks like. It does have a little mirror on the inside. Really pretty shades in here. I guess I had it just a little too close for you guys, but super, super pretty. Definitely happy to have this. It's not one that I would typically buy, but excited to have this in my collection. Next thing that I see is another palette I do not have in my collection, which I'm excited about. This is just my luck. Looks like this, just like the packaging. Mine's a little beat up, but 
Hopefully the shadows are not broken. All right, and this is what they look like. Very, very pretty. You got all those greens, that pop of yellow in there. Um, very nice. Super pretty. Last one that I see in here, <clears throat> I do own, I believe. This is the So Fly palette right there. I think I have this. This is what the palette looks like. This is my own personal one. So I'll just show you this one so I don't have to open that one and contaminate it. But it's really pretty. You can see that I do enjoy it. I have been using it. Um, it's just a versatile, neutral, but kind of pop of color palette. Super, super pretty. I love it. Um, I think I got mine probably from either Ulta when they had a sale or something. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to stick this one, the new one, back in the little plastic. This is going to go in the giveaway bag or container uh, for one of you guys So with this liner. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with everything. Two things um, were all I had in the collection, so that's great. I feel like I definitely got my money's worth. So Fly palette, which this one is mine. I got, so I got three palettes technically, which I feel like is, <clears throat> excuse me, a great, those are great um, already. I got these two palettes here, and then the So Fly. Um, I got the two Super Shock shadows. I got a Super Shock blush. I got a lipstick, which was great. Um, I got a, a color stick pencil and coffee. I got the liquid blush. And then I got the lip products in that uh, citrusy color. Um, so yeah, I think that for $49, I think I got a steal. I got a great deal in my opinion. I think that um, it was wor definitely worth it. Um, so like I said, I will definitely leave it linked down below if you... Um, if it is still available, um, I did just go to wipe off the products and look at this. They are stained on my hand. That's some good, look at that. That's some good products. If they, if they don't wipe off like that easily, that's some good products. The only thing that really wiped off was the liquid blush or the serum blush, but everything else, the lippy, all that stuff is not coming off my hand. So... That tells me a lot, and for the price that ColourPop has their products, that's that's pretty good. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know if you are um, picking this up so I can come over and watch your video as well. Let me know what you think about my box. Do you think it was worth the $49? How do you think ColourPop did? Uh, leave all that down below because I always like your guys' feedback. <clears throat> and I like getting these also because I know that you guys enjoy watching them. I love watching mystery box videos um, and of course if ColourPop has one I'm going to try to get it if I am feeling up to it at that moment. So guys this is going to complete this video. I really do hope you enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.